What's going on everybody? This is Daniel Spotright coming at you with another video. Now you guys spoke and I listened. Some of my subscribers mentioned that they like my casino uh, videos and reviews and everything. So I'm coming at you with another one. We are currently at Casino Ajax in none other than Ajax, Ontario. Now I didn't know this, but this facility actually opened in 1969 under the name Pickoff Downs. And I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. The name changed in 2006 with the addition of the casino. Now this is actually my first time coming here. And I don't know if you guys have been following the channel at all. I did a video on Pickering Casino not too long ago. These casinos are very close together. I'm talking 10 minute drive distance kind of thing. Like we passed Pickering Casino on the way here and within 10 minutes we were here. Side note about Pickering Casino as well. Um, I did want to go back there and sort of check out the rooms. The hotel is actually open as of recording this video. The hotel is open, but anytime I checked any room rates, we're talking in like the $300 mark. And I mean, I'm totally willing to spend a little bit of money to check this hotel out, but 300 so plus dollars to stay in Pickering Casino. I don't know about that one. So I'm going to hold on to my money for now. And uh, hopefully maybe once they sort of calm down with the rates, I will be checking it out. Or maybe if they offer some comps with the, the sort of the casino play that we're going to have, maybe then. But for now, I'm going to hold on to that money. Now, there isn't actually a hotel located with this casino. It is just a casino. But that said, there are different things around. There's lots of restaurants and sort of shopping around in this area. So anyway, let's go win some money. <laughs> So they do have the free pop and coffee machines available as well if you want to get yourself a drink. So cheers to that. All right, guys, so this casino is pretty small. That's one of my big first impressions. It says on the website there's about 800 slot machines. I would say there's even less than that. No table games except for electronic ones and it's stuff like roulettes and whatnot. So yeah, very, very small. So anyway, let's, uh, let's continue. Alright guys, so dining options are pretty limited in Ajax Casino, and by limited I mean there's one restaurant. Um, we are at the Gateway, we just ordered a couple drinks. Uh, drinks aren't too bad, 664 for a real drink, so I got a tequila soda, Cody got a uh, rum. The menu is actually pretty good, it got a pretty good mix of things. We ordered some coconut shrimp to start, and some fettuccine with like, seafood in it. I'm not usually a, a, a pasta guy. You know, carbs are the enemy, you know? This sounded interesting, it's all the seafood in it for $23, so I thought, I gotta give this a try. So anyway, let's see how it looks. All right, guys, so let's talk about Ajax Casino. So first of all, it actually kind of exceeded my expectations. I didn't really think it was going to be all that exciting in there. They are doing some renovations, so I will say that, that we did see some signs that they are renovating, so that might alter some things. I know they're changing the carpet, so by the time this video comes out, or by the time you're seeing this video, maybe the carpet's already been changed, but we did see a lot of signs for that, so just, just be aware of that. Overall, though, we had a pretty good experience. Gambling-wise, like, we were playing the slots for a while. I didn't lose. I was up and down and up and down. I sort of broke even towards the end, and quite honestly, I know that's more so your luck than the actual casino itself but overall not a terrible experience it is small there's not a lot of machines in there it says 800 on the website i can't imagine there being 800 in there but i mean i didn't count so i'm not sure but uh not a whole lot of machines no table games only electronic table games so you know you're only looking for like slots and things like that there is the racetrack here which was closed now because we are visiting during uh, the winter season this seems like more of like obviously a spring summer type experience that you're going to see in terms of the reward system here it is part of this great canadian reward so this is going to be places like pickering casino um because i think it's woodbine casino uh blue, blue heron there's a few other ones that are attached to this so you're going to want to use this card if you already have it otherwise you can sign up for a player's card there i like the fact that they had the drink station in there if you want to get yourself a coffee or you know a soft drink of some sort they did have some people coming around offering them as well we only did see the girl once that was doing that but still it is you know it is there it is available so that's nice to see obviously the dining options are very very limited there really is only one place that you can actually get something to eat it wasn't bad though uh for both of us we both had the fettuccine alfredo 
Again, I kind of went into that knowing it wasn't really going to be for me. I'm not a big pasta eater, especially a Alfredo type sauces. That's not really my kind of deal. Uh, did I love it? Not really. There was a fair amount of seafood in there, like shrimp, that imitation crab meat, a little bit of lobster. It wasn't bad. Not something I would probably get again personally, just because it's not really something I tend to order. But uh, all in all, for both of us, they had two drinks. We had the appetizer and two meals. The bill came to about $80, uh, plus obviously tax and tip and everything. So it wasn't too, too bad. You can also use your comps. If you have any comps for meals or any any money on your account or whatever with these with this reward system, you can actually use that. So we did use it. We don't play in these casinos too much though. So we only had a couple bucks off the, off the bill in the end. So not a huge savings, but hey, you can still use it. I know you guys didn't see too much footage in there. Um, I did want to leave that disclaimer at the beginning and I did forget, so I apologize for that. But we are in Ontario. We aren't in Vegas. So when it comes to filming the casinos, you do have to be very careful. They don't tend to allow it. So you'll see some of my other uh, sort of Ontario based casino videos. You're not going to see a whole lot of footage inside because I know, I mean, there's cameras everywhere. There is security around. So you do have to be careful. I try not to go overboard because I don't want to get <laughs> removed from the casino or, you know, get into any trouble or anything like that. So again, we tr we do try to downplay the filming as much as possible. Just get a few little clips in there. But as I said, all in all, it is a very small place. I will say though, it feels a lot like a local casino, if that makes sense. Like would I come from Toronto again? Would I come from out of town to come here? I'm gonna say probably not. This feels a lot more like if you're from the area that you'll probably visit here. We have so many casinos in Ontario now. I mean, even where I'm from in, in the Etobicoke area, we've just, you know, a 10 minute drive from me, we've got Woodbine. There's a casino like 10 minutes from here in Pickering. There's, you know, a couple in Niagara. There's Blue Heron. There's so many casinos in the area, Rama, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, there's a lot of casinos here. So you really are spoiled for choice. So I feel like this definitely feels more like a local, especially as there's no hotel. That said, there's free parking though, which I think is definitely a good thing because I mean, there's not really many other options of getting here besides to drive. Like I said, you could take the go, um, but otherwise this is somewhere you're going to have to like drive, cab, not really. I mean, there's, as I said, there's things around, but nothing's really like walking distance, if that makes sense. Staff wise, though, everybody was pretty friendly that we dealt with. Um, we did have to show RDs when we went in, obviously, but that's from my, you know, useful appearance. So uh, we did have to show RDs. They did check my bag, which is understandable, but uh, they were completely pre uh, pleasant about it. Uh, the staff in the restaurant, again, really, really pleasant. We had Diane as a server and she was really nice. Um, all in all, yeah, everyone was pretty nice to us. Now, is this spot right for you? If you're looking for a change of scenery, because I mean, all in all, it was still nice in there. So if you're looking for a change of scenery from your, your usual casino play, you know, say Woodbine or Niagara, it's a nice place to maybe visit for a couple hours. You're not going to be here all day, I don't think. There's no hotel here, so you can't stay overnight. There's probably some hotels in the vicinity, but nothing in walking distance that so you're going to have to drive. There is also, there used to be a shuttle here, I believe at one point. Right now, the shuttle is not running, at least at the time of recording this video. So if you are going to get here, I believe you can take the GO train or you can drive yourself, obviously. Um, but otherwise, for me, would I come out of my way to come here again? I'm going to say probably not. If I were to come up this direction, I probably would maybe visit Pickering Casino. And that's why I mentioned before that having the two so close together, I don't know if that was the best idea. But uh, at least that one has the hotel. It's got an entertainment area. So... There's a little bit more to it, I guess. Here, you're literally just the casino, the horses, and that's it. That said, though, we still did have a great experience here. You know, we didn't lose too much money. Um, we had a decent meal. Again, just for being in Toronto, about a half hour, 40 minutes or so drive from where we live. Wasn't too bad. So will I come back, though, as I said, probably not in a huge hurry. That doesn't mean it's a no. It's just I'm probably not in a massive hurry, if that makes sense. But by all means, let me know in the comments, have you ever been to Ajax Casino? What are your thoughts? Uh, did you win big? Did you get any you know, jackpots or anything like that? Any questions, anything I missed during the video, please let me know at the bottom. I would really appreciate it. It helps with the algorithm. It also helps with other travelers as well if they're thinking of coming here and also helps me in future videos to sort of make sure I answer all your questions that you have. Thank you so much for sticking around to the very end of this video. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Please like this video, share with your friends if there are also some, you know, some gamblers who like to check out uh, different casinos and everything. Once again, this has been Daniel Spotlight, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.